Hare Krishna, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. We continue reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila, Chapter 8, Text 6. Translation and purpose by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishra Prabhupada. The education cultivated by so-called learned scholars who do not believe these statements of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is like the tumultuous croaking of frogs. The croaking of the frogs in the rainy season resounds very loudly in the forest with the result that snakes, hearing the croaking in the darkness, approach the frogs and swallow them. Similarly, the so-called educational vibrations of the tongues of university professors who do not have spiritual knowledge is like the croaking of frogs. So Srila Prabhupada is putting the analogy here of the frogs croaking. But what happens by the frogs croaking? They're inviting their death. They are attracting the attention of the snake who's going to come and eat them. So Prabhupada is saying that one may be a great scholar, but if he's not speaking from Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, if his scholarship is just mundane, then uh, this, this resounding of, of vibrating of mundane words is not going to get him anywhere except uh, that he will meet his death in due course of time, in the form of time. The snake is compared to the time factor. Krishna is time factor. So we can learn from this that we should try to vibrate the transcendental message of Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita so that we don't become like the frogs. Now we may say, but we have so many different things to do now. We have our duties to perform. Uh, there are so many different people we meet. We can't uh, talk to them all the time. About There are some people who are willing to listen, some people who are not willing to listen. Well, we do our duties, whatever duties are there. They need to be performed. And wherever we can get an opportunity, we speak from Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. One who does not accept the glories of the Panchatattva but still makes a show of devotional service to Krishna can never achieve the mercy of Krishna or advance to the ultimate goal. So here, here Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is showing us the importance of approaching Sri Krishna through the Panchatattva. But it's because of the mercy of the Panchatattva that we are chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. So if we think we are great devotees of Krishna and we disregard the Panchatattva, then our, um, we will be just being so-called devotees, not really. Then we are making a show of devotional service. Because in Kali Yuga, Lord Chaitanya is the one who came to give us the Yuga Dharma chanting the Hare Krishna. He and his associates, they are the Panchatattva. They are the ones who are giving us Krishna Nam, Krishna Prem. If one is seriously interested in Krishna conscious activities, he must be ready to follow the rules and regulations laid down by the Acharyas and he must understand their conclusions. So, you know, if we want to actually become, for example, a doctor, then we have to enroll ourselves in the medical school. Then we have to follow whatever course that the teacher is giving us. You know, we have to. And then we can become a qualified doctor. So similarly, spiritual life is also like that. If we are really serious about cultivating Krishna consciousness, then we need to follow the rules and regulations. You need to follow the acharyas. Mahajano yena sagata. 
ये महाजनो ये ना गता सपंत धर्म महाभारत से इन वन अर्व थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन धर्मस्थ आचार्य इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द सीक्रेट ऑफ कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस बट वन हु एडवांसेस बाय द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द प्रीवियस आचार्य and follows in the footsteps of his predecessors in the line of disciplic succession will have success so <clears throat> just by reading the vedas it's very difficult to understand krishna very difficult not easy to understand krishna very difficult but if we follow the instructions of the of the parampara of the previous acharyas of the disciple a uh, disciplic succession then we can easily become krishna conscious then we will be able to understand krishna so krishna is making it easy for us he is saying you just follow the acharyas you follow the disciplic succession and you will come back home back to god and but we will say no i why shall i follow the disciplic succession i'm going to do it by myself you know so then that is saying that oh why should i enroll myself in a school i'm going to become a doctor by myself and i will perform surgery by myself who is going to come to us for treatment you know will we really become a doctor or will we become a a nuisance to others so similarly if we really want to become krishna conscious then we follow the instructions of the previous acharyas others will not shila narottam das thakur says in this connection chaliya vishnu seva nistar pe ye che ke ba unless one serves the spiritual master and acharyas one cannot be liberated so the easiest way to get liberated is serve the spiritual master serve the acharyas shila prabhupad he took up the instruction of his guru maharaj to heart his guru maharaj wanted him to distribute the knowledge of bhagavatam and bhagavad gita in the in the west in the english speaking language and shila prabhupad did it he followed the order of the spiritual master and he got his life became successful so if we can also take up this order if we can also serve shila prabhupad in his mission then even our life will become successful we can also easily become liberated we simply have because shila prabhupad wanted to give krishna consciousness to everyone anyone everyone that is the order of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu that was the desire of his spiritual master <laughs> so if we can somehow or the other serve shila prabhupad then we can easily go back home back to god and otherwise it's difficult very difficult uh, in the guru vashtaka it says yasya prasada bhagavat prasado yasya prasada nagati kutope that when by pleasing the spiritual master one pleases krishna by displeasing the spiritual master one displeases krishna so because you see we have forgotten krishna so we don't know how to please him but the spiritual master knows how to please him shri prabhupada knows how to please him that's the reason because he's following in strictly he's following in the desire of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu to give krishna consciousness to everyone so if we can simply attach ourselves to serving shri prabhupada we can become successful e chaya gosai ज्ञानर मुहितावृंदावन I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So this Narottam Das Thakur is saying that 
Narottam Das Thakur is saying that uh, one who's following the instructions of the Goswamis, one who's really following the instructions of the Goswamis, Narottam Das Thakur is saying, I'm eating the dust of the lotus feet of such a person who's following the instructions of the Goswamis. Narottam Das Thakur himself is a great Acharya, but he's saying, Anyone who's following the six Goswamis, I am their servant. This is the way of devotional service. Being the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. You can say we want to become liberated. What is this becoming servant? But we cannot, uh, we need the mercy of the predecessor Acharyas. That is how Krishna says, those who claim that they are my devotee are not my devotee, but those who are the devotees of my devotees is actually my devotee. This is how Krishna wants it. He wants us to approach him through the disciplic succession. He does not want us to approach him directly. Why? Because then we may make up things in our mind. We can just make up anything. The doctor, he has to enroll himself in the youth. City. He has to train himself under qualified uh, professors. He has to practice under qualified doctor. Then he becomes a doctor himself. But if he says, ah, I can do it by myself, then he's just going to act out of his own mind. Purve yeche jarasan adi rajagana veda dharma kare kare vishnu rapuja. Formerly kings like Jarasan, the father in law of Kamsa, strictly followed the Vedic rituals, thus worshipping Lord Vishnu. In these verses, the author of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, is very seriously stressing the importance of worship of the Panchatattva. So we should worship the Panchatattva. By their mercy, we can easily get love of God, easily go back home. If one becomes a devotee of Gora Sundar or Krishna, but does not give importance to the Panchatattva. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadana, Shri Vasadi, Gauravata. His activities are considered to be offenses or, in the words of Srila Rupa Goswami, Utpat disturbances. One must therefore be ready to offer due respects to the Panchatattva before becoming a devotee of Lord Gaurasandar or of Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So let us pray to the Panchatattva, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadana Shri Vasadi Gaurabha. So that we may engage in their service, we can engage in the service of Shri Shri Gornitai, can engage in the service of Shri Shri Radha Krishna, we can engage in the service of Shri Prabhupada, and that we can get love of Radha and Krishna. It's by their mercy that we can get devotion. We can get love of Krishna. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So we'll stop here for today. Chaitanya Charitamrita ki jai, Shla Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Bhattavinda ki jai, Hare Krishna.